uh, via email. So, could, if possible, please send uh, my note to the people. Okay. So that the, today I'm gonna talk about the bone conjecture. Okay, so the, today I'm going to talk about the bottom conjecture and a, uh, a polynomial. Let me state the, the bottom conjecture first, actually. Um. So, oh, by the way, the last time I couldn't finish the talk on the topological string, I, so I sent a suggestion and my handwritten note, it's not uh, well, uh, well written, but uh, I think he would distribute you yeah. on my note. Uh, then today I'm going to talk about the bottom conjecture. So let me just write down the statement. So the, I just want, want note that the, so I already introduced, so in this case, so JR, um, so I just want to work on G to SU2 in this case, and uh, I told you that the, the width on the ex expectation value in transformal theory is a quantum invariance. Um, so in the case of the SU2, so it's, the representation labeled by single young tablo with single row. So the, the so we con I consider the, the R boxes, okay, R boxes, and uh, I denote this is J J bar R, okay, okay. This is called color Jones polynomial. Okay. Color Jones polynomial. And so the, dif so the difference between J bar and J, and the J bar can be always factorized by R not factor. Um, Q times J R K and Q. Okay. And this is especially, uh, let's see, yeah, this is especially the R, quantum number R. Uh, I hope I'm not correct. No, no, I'm not. No. Uh, R factorial. Yeah. R Q factorial. Yeah. Yeah. So the so one can always uh, this J bar can be uh, you have a fact I'm not factor with uh, I'm not factor and if you divide it by I'm not factor you get a J R. So the R is, as I mentioned to you, Q3, R over 2 minus Q3 minus R over 2, and Q3, 
one half minus one half, and R factorial is R, R minus one. Uh, let, let, let's see. Just hold on. I may, I may be wrong. Just hold on. Oh, uh, sorry. I think it's not factorial. Sorry, it's just R. Sorry. Uh, am I correct? So, let, let, let me. A Q to the K R and Q to the Q R. And uh, so you just put the Q squared. So R plus 1, sorry. This should be R plus 1, sorry. So, so he, this means the large color limit. If you take large color, so this is called large color. R is the number of boxes. So this connect. So the quantum invariance invariance and the equality to the classical uh, the classical the relation between classical geometry. Geometry of not complement. Quantum invariance of not. Okay. So the this relation can be seen at the large limit. A large color limit. L large color limit. Large color means large R. R is the number box. Color is the number and tableau. Okay. Okay. So the so the for hyperbolic knot, it's really unique. So the so K is that's a definition actually. Um, uh, the most of the knots are hyperbolic knot. Then, which means the, there is uh, the unique hyperbolic structure metric. It, it, it has a metric on it. Okay. And uh, this volume is this the the volume with respect to hyperbolic metric. Now oh, this is the, the theorem by Thurston. And the uniqueness comes from most of rigidity, rigidity theorem, most of rigidity theorem, um, which I'm not, I mean, uh, to be explained why has the hyperbolic metric, I have to explain that I'm a Haken manifold and so on, I'm, 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 uh, which I'm going to skip. But let's accept that. Okay, so let's. The so you mentioned that most knots are hyperbolic. Yes, yes. But how do I know that it is not hyperbolic? Uh, that, that's come from the system theorem, actually. So there is a um, Hanke manifold with, uh, with the torus boundary, and with certain condition has the, the hyperbolic metric, admits hyperbolic metric. Not hyperbolic metric, but what? K. K. But not component always has the, the, the boundary is torus, right? Yes. And it, Okay, so that's yeah. what I'm going to do. Yes, in the system theorem. And if it is a Haken manifold and with certain certain extra condition, it admits a uh, hyperbolic metric. That's the system theorem. Okay. <coughs> now, of course, hyperbolic metric is the, 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 the one which satisfies the Einstein equation with negative uh, is, uh, cosmological constant. Okay. Um, and this hyperbolic knot, um, hyperbolic structure, and it, it has some, some, some uh, let's see, uh, some property. So the, so geodesic very complete. And the two is the finite volume. Okay. 
and 3 and then simply show decomposition uh, by ideal uh, tetrahedral uh, T alpha beta gamma so uh, there are three properties okay and the main property geodesic complete means the ge geodesic goes to I mean uh, they stretch to the infinity okay? it can extend to any uh, the, the to infinite many uh, infinite lengths and the finite volume is this this is finite okay right answer is finite and then I'm going to explain what's the simple uh, decomposition by the tetrahedral T alpha beta gamma so the <coughs> so let's consider the the instead of our upper half plane it, we consider upper half um, space uh, like a uh, space which has the I mean uh, x y and z uh, and the metric is given by uh, dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared over z squared. Okay. And <coughs> so, uh, as you can easily imagine, geodesic is always something like a uh, some some whole cycle or just. Uh, just the uh, straight line, semi infinite line. And uh, to to construct the ideal tetrahedral, you just have the the sphere um, sphere with the the following the object sphere, and you just extends to infinity like this way. Okay. And uh, you um. So you just cut, cut like a horizontal. Right? Horizontally, you get the, uh, you get the just uh, let's see, the triangle, which has the angle alpha and beta and gamma. Okay. Alpha and beta gamma, and in, in particular, so one by the conform map, you just you can put zero, one, and z. 0, 1, and z by conform map. And it, th this, 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 uh, this one is sphere. Okay. The F2 with the, you just cut by, 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 by plane. And it, the, the intersection is just circle, hollow cycle. Okay. And then by conform map, you can always put the 0, 1, z. So therefore, alpha is the always the argument of z. And it turns out that beta this argument uh, of 1 minus 1 over c and uh, oh sorry uh, I, I, I think uh, alpha beta gamma uh, I, I use this notation I'm sorry and the gamma uh, then, 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 then sorry let, let, let me use my note actually notation of my note and the gamma is uh, 1 argument of 1 minus 1 over c. Okay. <coughs> okay. That's just stan standard, I mean, uh, just Euclidean uh, <coughs> geometry. It, and uh, one can easily calculate the volume. Oh, l l let me. So, by conform mark, this the upper half, how to say, space can be mapped to the uh, just instead of the the hyperbolic sphere. <coughs> no, so hyperbolic disk. You just you, you can map to hyperbolic ball, and uh, then this one, this this one is mapped to something like a. Um, um, Like this way, so zero, one, z, and infinity. Okay, 
infinity. That's why it's called ideal tetrahedron. And I mean, this is tetrahedron. Okay, it's a form of tetrahedron. Okay. And if it's angle, angle is given by alpha and then be, uh, gamma, beta and gamma and so on. Okay. Alpha, beta, gamma at each edges. Okay. And then you can compute the volume of this ideal tetrahedron. Uh, which is just uh, uh, dx, dy, and dt over t. And what you get is just this one. Um, a d of t, where the uh, gamma of theta is minus zero theta dt log of two sine so this is uh, for Lobachevsky uh, function. And a D of D is called, is defined like this way. Uh, Lee of D and dialog and R uh, 1 minus C and a log uh, Z, uh, the adversary but Z and block Wigner. So this is called block Wigner function. Function. So, so this dialog Z, dialog Z to Z is the sum of uh, squares and number, uh, let's see, Z to the N and square, yeah. And square n is equal to one to infinity. Okay. So this is a uh, di dialog function. Dialog function. I'm sorry. Coming from here. De uh, determinant of de de determinant of g. Oh, the Q, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <coughs> um, I haven't followed the calculation, but that's the case. <laughs> Okay, and uh, instead of th writing this alpha, beta, gamma, so the hypo uh, the people in hypermobile geometry often write writes like this way, um, z um, z prime, which is the one minus one over t, and uh, this is z double prime, which is the one minus like this. Way. This is the standard notation in hypermobile geometry. Um, okay, so this is ideal tetrahedral. I mean, so let's see the the case of the not complement of figure eight. So the figure eight is the, the simplest uh, hypotenuse knot. Which one? Um, Torus knots are not equal to. Torus knots are not hypotenuse. So the, the right hand side becomes zero actually. So let, let's keep this one actually. Let's keep this one. Oh, by the way, I have to put the name of this. This is Kashaya. Kashaya and Murakami. Actually, Kashaya first used his, 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 
he's not imbalanced. And uh, Murakami, I mean, uh, usually the two, two person. Jiu and Hitoshi uh, formulate his Kashaf imbalance in terms of John Cornona at Q0 equal to root of unity. That's the history. Uh, for some knots, it's proven. So, for example, for figure eight, already proven. And a certain class of knots, it's proven, but for in general, it's not. Okay. So, the. Uh, so, I just want to give you the answer of the example. Are the complement of the figure eight. The figure eight. So this this is the the notation of figure eight. Um. Uh, as far as I remember, figure eight is something like this. This one. This is four one. So this is for wrong frame table actually. If you want it. No. No sense. Ah, uh, Okay. Um, so the complement of figure 8 is just actually given by as follows. Um, I, I think I should write bigger. So the complement of figure 8 is actually given by Two idea tetrahedral uh, such that the uh, let me let me try to write down D and B and the C C is the 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 bottom part and the A is this part. A is identified with uh, C, D, and A is identified with the bottom face, and uh, the B is identified back face. Okay. Um. So the since the, the boundary of the boundary of S3 mod uh, figure 8, the knot complement of boundary is always torus. Okay? Because if you thicken the if you thicken the knot, it's always the the boundary is torus. So you this the knot complement always uh, should should have the, the boundary. And to have the boundary you just just tip it off actually this the each try uh, each how to say in the vertex like this way. Okay, so you have a triangle like this way. Um. And uh, like this way. Anyway, then. If you glue them at the face uh, in the in the described way, so the boundary. Oh, by the way, so I should mention that the is parameters by complex number z. So this is z and w. Z and w are the the the, the here. Okay. And the boundary looks like this way. Um. Let's see. So W Z Z W W Z uh, W and Z. Okay. Uh, so there is a like how to say? Uh, for each identity you have a full triangle 
which are assigned to the boundary, which are, which are assigned to the boundary. So therefore, eight triangles. So let's see, there's the eight triangle. Yes, eight triangle. And then, so here you have a, um, so V here, and uh, here, here you have the angle is D double prime, and this is D prime, and so on. So therefore, um, so D is assigned to next is D prime, and this is everything called clockwise, D double prime, and so on. D prime, and D double prime, and so on. And W is also the same. W prime and W double prime. Everything clockwise. Clockwise. You have to assign like this. And it, um, the two, so this is the, the and the, the face A is identified face this the bottom face, and B is identified the, the back face here, and so on. So they are identified like this. Then you can reproduce the, the not complement of figure eight. And uh, so to see this, this I and mean, why this two identities appears, it requires a lot of uh, training. And also there is a program called Snappy. If you uh, which always gives you the, the minimal ideal uh, minimal number of ideal uh, simple decomposition by ideal tetrahedra. And uh, if you want to see uh, if you want to see in your mind, uh, they draw the picture. There is a good paper by uh, Murakami Hitoshi Murakami Hitoshi uh, Murakami. Uh, zero mass um, zero 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 eight zero two seven. Uh, he describes the very in detail way how to uh, uh, how to get this identity truth here out of the figure eight actually. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's a good idea to explain everything in this lecture because. I don't have, think I have time to do that. So let's accept that. And if you're interested, just read this paper. Read this paper. And he draws a lot of pictures to construct these two uh, identities here. So just I just relegate this part into this paper. To this paper. Um, any questions so far? Sorry, Torres? Yeah. So, so from picture, you just have this edge is identified, and this, this is identified. Okay, and you get Torres. And so there is a condition, green, there is a so-called green condition. So this, uh, the vertex is identified this vertex, and around here, you should have a 2pi, okay? 2pi. So 2pi, so therefore, so uh, the W, so this is W prime, and this is W double prime. So therefore, so if you multiply this one, uh, all the, so all the angles, so let's see, let's start from here. Z, W prime, and Z prime, right? Z prime, and you come here, so W prime, and Z, and W prime, okay? And then this is can be written uh, z square and uh, z prime and w prime square and w double prime. This should be one, okay? E to the two pi. Okay. Everything is it. I mean, argument of this one should be two pi, which means this is equal to one. Okay. Um. <coughs> Okay, but you can do the same exercise at each e, um, each vertex actually. Um, shall, shall we do that? I think uh, so. Z Z W prime Z prime and W prime and Z and W prime. 
and then everything to pi. And this, you can do the same thing <coughs> by each vertex. Okay. By each vertex. Uh, so this this red vertex and the blue vertex. And what you get is as follows. Uh, w square. Okay, so this is called green condition. Okay. This is called green condition. And also, the hyperbolic matrix should be should be complete, which means the geodesic load is uh, can be extended to infinity. Okay, so if you go to the geodesic goes to infinity, so the so therefore. This torus uh, can be shrinks to the really infinitesimal. So this, this, so this, therefore, so in a metric has to be be complete. So therefore, hyperbolic, hyperbolic metric has to be complete. So this uh, condition is the, the same as the actually the holonomy of meridian. Uh, Holonomy of meridian, so this is the meridian, and the longitude, um, so longitude, longitude, so this is longitude, uh, longitude, um, let's call M and L, M and L, the holonomy should be 1, okay, should be 1. So this, this is the, the, uh, the, the condition for the metric has to be, uh, Complete. So, so for instance, so this holo ho meridian holonomy is given by z prime inverse, z prime inverse and w, okay, w prime. This should be one, okay. And uh, the same condition can be uh, applied to longitude, but uh, actually I don't need to uh, impose because you can solve this equation. And what you get is as follows. And if you solve this equation, just plug in this relation. Z, Z prime is equal to 1 minus 1 over Z. And Z double prime is 1 minus 1 over Z. So one can solve the equation. It turns out that W, the solution, is equal to E to the I pi over 3. So that's what you're going to get. Okay. And so, so we know that the each triangle, I did, uh, sorry, each ideal tetrahedral has a volume by block Wigner function. So therefore, volume of the complement of four one is given by um, is given by uh, two times d, I mean, d z plus d w at the z is equal to e to the i pi over 3. This is also e to the i pi over 3. So therefore, 2 d e uh, i pi over 2. Okay. So this is the volume of the knot complement of the figure 8. Three. Three. Oh, 3, 3, yeah. Sorry. Or uh, for Lobachevsky function, you get the pi over 2. So this is the classical geometry of the knot complement. So let's see the left hand side. Let's see the left hand side. Okay. Any questions so far? And later, if you uh, think the, the the last lecture will be devoted by the 3D 3D correspondence, and uh, for each yeah, for each tetrahedral you have you will have something called 3D n equal to uh, n equal to Okay, each 
each 3D n equal to has the um, color superfield. And growing, so this growing of phase is, is the gauging of the flavor velocity. But uh, I will explain in the last, uh, last lecture. OK, so let's look at the left hand side. Um, so the Jones polynomial of the, um, oh, I, I, I should mention one thing before going to the Jones. Um, yes. No, 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 this is all, 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 yes, yes. But then, then, because the zero, I think that the condition is different because the zero is one, and that leads to the zero. See, this plus this one, one of them, can solve the equation, and then you get this one. OK, and I have to mention one thing, actually. So the, this uh, rock Williams function satisfies the following. Uh, following um, relation. So this satisfies the following relation. And this can be understood as follows. So you have uh, two ideal tetrahedra, like this way. This can be decomposed into, um, so this is just, is, so this, this is called one, two, three, four, five. So this is octahedra, is it correct? Octahedra, and so the, this two either uh, tetrahedra um, makes the octahedra. What? I'm sorry. What is it called? Anyway, so two 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 ideal tetrahedra. Then, so you have a, um, I'm not good at drawing, uh, so you just decompose the, the three pieces. Okay. So you just, so you just uh, cut along the, the, the line from the north and the south pole, I would say it's north and south pole, and then you decompose the three pieces of ID here. So this is called two three move or some uh partner move. Partner move. Okay. And the most of the the, the uh so the in the hyperg geometry so you have to uh show that the the the, the topological invariant are is independent of the uh, independent of simplicial decomposition by ideal tetrahedra, so therefore the in invariant has to be sorry the the quantity has to be invariant that this two three move. That's the and as much I'm uh, devoted a lot of time to <laughs> to prove this this invariant on two three. That's that's how you do. Is this what you do to get a minimal decomposition? You go from three to two to three. Yes, yes, yes. And so the, I, in the last lecture, I will explain in the detail about the, the, the or maybe next lecture. So this is the the uh, uh, gauge theory. This is the mirror symmetry. Symmetry. Uh, one is the the u um, one with two chiral. U one gauge theory with two chiral. Two chiral. Uh, chiral superfield. Um, to Kyle, and this is the XYZ model. XYZ model. Okay. <coughs> so there's, there's a mirror symmetry in between. 
And maybe tomorrow I, I will stay. Ah, uh, tomorrow, not on Monday. But uh, if you show that it's independent of two three maybe it's enough. Ah, it's enough. Yeah, yeah. It's a local, local procedure, so. Longitude should have an independent condition, but uh, it's enough to, uh, to, to, to get this condition. So th this is meridian, and uh, this is a corresponding longitude condition, uh, which I'm not going to write. But you don't need it. Yeah. So I think that relation is the same, but you want to know that You mean volume, yes. Yeah, and the plug into the the plug into this. This condition will change. So therefore, solution will change. Yeah, Z and yeah, Z I. Mm. Yeah, you have to solve. So this is very, very symmetric case. That's why you get the pi over three. But uh, for in general, it's, you will have a very complicated answer. Yeah. Okay. So the Carl Jung polynomial J R figure eight and Q. It's given by, so this is computed by Habira first, actually. Habira. Um, uh, so this has a form. form. Yeah, this is Japanese name. Yeah. Uh, R, K is equal to 1, K, um, G is equal to 1, um, Um, then it turns out that the as a follows. Um, <coughs> so these are the following uh, the asymptotics. Um, and, uh, anyway, sorry. Then, so if you put, yeah, I, I, I should use this one. Um, limit. Limit. So, uh, so this is the, I mean, q, q, q quantum integers. And yes. 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 Yeah, that's true. So Q used uh, treat as a variable, just form a variable. Yeah, yeah. The number of boxes, yeah, large command. That's how it is. Um. Uh, so the Jones R for Q is equal to e to the two pi i over R. Then uh, so did yeah. Yeah, I, I, I should write like this way. Then, uh, T exponential, um, one over zero. I hope you can, sorry, maybe I should write more explicit. 
How good this one? So the <coughs> uh, the so there's a relation by uh and what is the echo to Oh oh so Z is equal to Q to the K. Okay. Um Um and then this is equal to log of uh I, I should use a K. Um, the Z and the log Z and some number. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So you just fix, uh, when you take So when you take R goes to infinity, this is goes to one, Q goes to one limit. It's kind of classical limit, therefore. But you just fix Q to the K as a Z. Okay. What is K? K is the shift. So, some of sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm very sloppy, Z, D, Z. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry, sorry. And if you use this, this relation, k goes to infinity, k goes to infinity, so you use this relation, and then you get this one. So this factor will give rise to this factor, and this factor gives rise to this factor, okay? Uh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm sorry, so yeah, I'm very sloppy. Okay, factoria is when you take k to the infinity, so it just e to the distance, e to the distance. Okay. Some number times log this. And uh, so there is a factor by i over, yeah, r goes to infinity, and the q, q to the k is equal to z, then you get the r over 2 by something like that. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. K factorial. Yeah. yeah. Then it says we'll have to extremize this, 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 this one. So this is this. I, I will explain later in more in detail. So you have to extremize this. Uh, the, this is called this is called Neumann Neumann Zagier Neumann Zagier potential Zagier a potential sometimes and you have to extremize so let's call the, the, this is called W W of C so you have to extremize extreme this one D C which is Z uh, is equal to equal to um, is equal to minus c over 1 minus c square and this should be 1 okay this is extreme as extremi extremization Station. so if you solve this one z what you get is z is equal to e to the i pi over 3 okay i pi over 3 point yes side of point yeah so you just W is this one. Uh, oh, 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 zero, z zero, zero, zero. No, sorry. Exponential of this one. Exponential of this one is equal to this one is equal to one. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. You're dropping it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then plug into here. Uh, you can compare with this one. And this one. So let me just understand what you're doing here. Converting first the summation to integral. Integral. Then doing the integration by 
see it by shadow point, yeah. And the plug into here, what you reproduce is this one. Okay. Uh, this, yes, and this, uh, so the delta volume, so from here, the volume of, uh, sorry, so the, the limit, left hand side, left hand side, is equal to ima two times imaginary part of the two z. Uh, z, z is equal to e to z, pi i over 3. Okay. And if you compare with right hand side, you get the identity. You get the, so this proves, uh, this pr kind of proves the, the, the sperm control for figure 8. Okay. And so, okay. SU2, yes, yes. Uh, it's very important problem to form the, the bottom conjecture for high rank. No, has, no one has done. Um, yeah. It's very difficult, actually. For for arbitrary color, it's difficult. I mean, especially it involves with some color with the some this combination for SU3, for instance. And this is really difficult, actually. I mean, there is a, I mean, towards not, for towards not that one can explicitly, I mean, it, there is a, in principle one can compute this one, but to form the bottom conjecture, even, I mean, you have to write them in terms of cube for Heimer, but it's very difficult. Okay, okay so let me discuss about, okay, great. Uh, and then let me discuss about the generalization, generalization of this bottom conjecture <coughs> or deformation. Um, okay. So the so generalize. This is due to Google. Um, Google Murakami. Uh, I would say Hitoshi Murakami. Hitoshi Murakami. Uh, Hitoshi Murakami. Uh, Murakami. And so on. Uh, and so on. Um, so the, again, I take the large color limit um, in such a way that, I, the, but here so I take instead of, um, so I take h bar goes to 1, but the, I take q to the r is fixed by x. And the r goes to infinity, r goes to infinity. So it's, it's kind of double scale limit. Then this has a following uh, form, 1 over h bar, uh, such that the, so this, okay, this integral is the, so involves some Riemann surface, uh, which start with, This some um, x star and it goes to some x and some x and re this Riemann surface is determined by zero locus of the so-called a polynomial here uh, and log y dx x and the order Okay. Uh, and this h star, so the actually the a polynomial is actually parameterized the hypermetric, not only the the complete hypermetric on the not component, but also the incomplete one. So therefore, it start with the complete hyperbolic.
hyperbolic metric, uh, metric. Okay, can you see this color? It's hard. Okay, I'm not going to use this one anymore. Um, so the complete hypermetric and a deformation to the incomplete hyperbolic metric. And this A is called, I, I don't like this name, but it's called A polynomial. Uh, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, search in Google very nicely, that's why I don't like this name. Uh, so the, I'm going to explain what this A polynomial means. Um, so the, this A polynomial is related to the SL2C flat connections. So let's consider, in, before going to the, the, the knot complement, let's consider the boundary of the knot. boundary of knot complement is always torus, okay? Torus. And then let's consider the modular space of flat connection of the torus with SL2C. Okay. As I explained to you, this is the uh, parameterized by representation of pi 1 of the T2 is goes to SL2C. Okay. It's parameterized by this. It turns out that this is equal to uh, C star cross C star mod C2. Okay. Why the C, where the C star appears? So the, this is, this is just the abelian group C plus D. Meri so the one is meridian and longitude. So the meridian is mapped to meridian is mapped to x sorry x x inverse and some number zero zero. And longitude is mapped to y y and star zero zero. Okay? Y inverse. So this is the element inside SL two C. And x parameterized so the, by one of the c star, and y parameterized one of the uh, the other c star, and the z two come from the the wild group action of the in in simultaneously. Okay, so there's a residual wild uh, transformation which flips the sign, but the, the the sign means the the exponent inside. So you just okay. so so therefore this is wild group symmetry. Okay. And this is actually a hyperkelon uh, manifold <coughs> and uh, whose holomorphic symplectic form. So this has a, sim a symplectic form dx, x, which dy, and y. This is the Kela, uh, symplectic form of this. this. Okay. So if you look at this one, if you look at this form, okay, this is actually a Levy form of the symplectic form. So therefore, so d of uh, log y dx and x is equal to dx which d, this is uh, minus omega, minus omega. So this is called usually called Levy form. Ah, I mean, a, in classical mechanics, this is dpx, uh, pdx, in classical mechanics, yeah. And uh, this integral often appears even cyber Witten curve. So leading order is always d lambda in cyber Witten curve. Okay. Then what is the A polynomial? Okay. So the A polynomial describes the 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 one which extends the flat connection which extends to the knot component. Uh, so this is the uh, S3 mod K and SL2C. So this is actually called Lagrangian sum manifold. Lagrangian with respect to this omega. Lagrangian sum manifold. And since we have a X and Y, so there is a so this is described by a x y is equal to zero. Um, I mean, I should say x and y, which inside a c star cross c star 
mod C2, and it satisfies this zero locus of the air phenomenon. Yes. Yes. So this is so yeah. So so therefore this is four dimension. We have four dimension, and it's Lagrangian sum of it's a cut half dimension. So this is the actual Riemann surface. Actually, but it has the lots of singular points, okay? A lot of singular point degeneration point. So it's not ordinary Riemann surface, and it describes the the, the flat connection that extends to the complement of the. So the so the schematically, so if you have the so the boundary you have a torus, and there's a not com complement S mod K, and you have a flat connection of the to torus T2, SL to C, and it, that extends to the, uh, the complement, yeah, SM of K. So this, this describes Riemann surface inside, inside of this, yeah. Yes, this is exactly exactly the green condition actually. But you don't impose this completeness completeness metric. You don't impose. So the I put the meridian meridian is equal to one and long should be equal to one for completeness, right? Completeness for uh, now we don't put instead of I just put this is equal to x and this is equal to y. And you just plug into the, this green condition and what you get is the airport. That's what's going to happen. Okay. So this is called airport no? uh, Now how do you, how do you get this uh, equation? So the this equation, uh, for instance, so let's let's look at the um, so the figure eight. So John polynomial. Uh, so we already know the John polynomial. Um, I already explained to you the figure eight and Q. So this is equal to summation of R K is equal to one. K is equal to K J equal to one R plus R J and then R minus J. Okay, that's what I explained to you. And if you take this limit, um, this limit, um, H bar is equal goes to one, and the H bar, uh, let's see, R goes to infinity and the q3 r is equal to x then what you're going to get is as follows so um the two system potential which depends on x and c so this this, this is the generalization of the neumann zagier neumann zagier uh, potential and it depends on x now okay so now the W tilde of X and T, it takes the form from XT and minus the XT inverse. Okay? And you just solve the following equation. Uh, uh, tilde um, I mean if you know the necklace of Shatashibiri, uh, it's 
it's the same as power angulation. Okay. If you solve this equation, um, so this is the same as power angle equation, where the W tilde is the the, the twisted uh, superpotential, and uh, just solve it for z and plug into here actually, and what you get is a polynomial. And the resulting a polynomial looks like uh, where was it? I already forgot where I put. Um, y square plus some number y plus one equals zero. Uh, just some moment. Where was it? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Um, x. So x to the fourth minus x square minus two minus x to the minus two plus x to the minus four and y uh, plus one is equal to zero. Okay. Now that that's what you're going to get. <coughs> okay. And this is called a polynomial. A polynomial of figure H. And this is the same as the Gruen condition, as, as, as he pointed out, the Gruen equation. Gruen equation. Okay. Gruen equation. Okay. Any questions so far? Yeah, just solve for Z and plug it here, and just this, this is equal to this. This one? Uh, uh, why is that? Yep. <laughs> so, the, so sorry. The, 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 this should be again. I, I already again missed the exponential integral. Sorry. Uh, uh, this is the integral of dt. Sorry. Yeah. Uh huh. This one. Uh. This is equivalent to saying the integral of this one is equal to. Um, how would you? Yes. Um. Uh -huh. so, so this is the uh, what we see. Oh yeah. So this again. I miss. Um. I think the, the, uh, the, this, this is true, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think inside an exponential. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. So I think, is it correct? I just got confused. Uh,
Sorry, I just got confused. Yeah, I think this is correct. This is correct. Yeah. Yeah, this is correct. Now, from here, this other point, it is the first equation. The first equation, yeah. Then why does second equation? Second equation, I mean, if you take a log, you get the uh, x uh, pressure w tilde pressure x is equal to log y, right? Log y. And if you look at the exponent, And if you integrate this one, you get that one. Second equation, the equ this integral is given by along the a polynomial with this review form. To, to get this integral, y you have to solve this equation. From this, from top down, to the Why is that? and this equation give you the airport number. Okay, um, furthermore, so you, one can quantize this airport number. Um, so this is called edge connection. That's the, that's the same as growing condition. So, yeah, that's what I mentioned. Without doing this one. Without doing this one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's general body condition. This one can be obtained by growing condition. Yeah. From the first principle. Okay. And uh, so this is the. So let's quantize this. The jump polynomial, uh, the a polynomial. So the the uh, Q difference equation. Difference equation of uh, minimal order. For jumps. Uh, color jumps. Um, which means the as follows. Um, some number uh, QR plus K KQ some uh, whatever um, some number BKQ um, BK, Q, 
and uh, QR, Q to R, B, 0, Q and QR, and JR, K and Q is equal to 0. So we look at the difference equation with respect to colors. Okay? Color. So if you look at minimal order means k has to be uh, the minimal, okay? But you have lots of different operator with a lot of, uh, if you involve lots of colors, but it, we look at the minimal order. Then I just put the a hat of x hat and y hat. So this can be written in, in the following form. Uh, such that the uh, a hat is equal to y hat and q is equal to summation of p k q x y to the k where k is equal to 0 to uh, sorry uh, i to k um, i such that the the x hat axon so x hat x uh, j r of q is equal to q to q to r j r and uh, y hat j r is actually j r plus one okay j r plus one this is a recursion relation with respect to Jones point color with respect to colors okay. And the, the conjecture is as follows. The, if you take the classical limit, a hat, x hat, and y hat, and the q, when you take q is equal to one limit, it becomes the a polynomial. Okay. Yeah, so the x and y satisfy the following condition. x hat y hat is equal to q to the y hat and x hat. And uh, so when you take q to one limit, the x and y it becomes commutative, and this polynomial reduces to one another polynomial. B is different, the coefficient. The, just the recursion relation of Jones polynomial. Different equation. Good question. Um, experiment that you can, you can actually. Yeah. Yeah, but this is like powerful procedure called topological regression. Topological regression will do that actually. Um, I, I I can write down the the polynomial, but it's really tedious. I mean, uh, I don't want to write down to be honest. Um, I mean, for 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 P eight, for P eight, I don't want to do that actually. Because it's too long, so the let 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 me write a trapper. Trapper trapper case, even though it doesn't, it's not hyperbolic. One can compute the the a polynomial and the a hat. And let me write down the the, the answer for trapper. So a hat and three one x hat and y hat and q is given by um. X hat four minus Q over sorry Y hat X hat to the fourth minus uh, Q to the one half uh, four minus Q Q X hat to the fourth Okay, 
and then and if it, when you take two a is e equal to a class variable polynomial is given by uh, this one. Take Q equal to one limit, you can see it, you will use it this way. Okay. So therefore this is called the D I mean sometimes sometimes people I mean a Sergio often calls this is quantum volume condition. But AJ means the A annihilates J, okay? A annihilates J. So therefore, this is sometimes, uh, this A hat is called, the also called quantum curve. Okay. So therefore, the, this, the A hat is give you the non commutative deformation double coordinate of the, this uh, simplex manifold. Okay. <coughs> Any questions so far? Right, A hat? You just find a difference equation for Jones polynomial. No? No, that's true. Yeah, and there's that other process. So this this direction is called topological equation. A is the group of operator, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, what, what is the question? A hat, A hat, yes. What do you mean, algebra of what? <laughs> I don't choose any compass. But I'm I'm doing the 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 uh, the complex transcendent on the complement, right? Yeah. Complement. Yeah. The com. Yeah. But the complement has a unique hub. Oh no no, no sorry, I'm sorry. But but you're talking about a Riemann surface instead of the complement of three manifold general quantization. Geometry quantization. But but here boundary is just torus. Yes. Yeah, but I, I use the, the 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 here I use the I mean heat homogeneous space. Yeah. I, I, Okay, 
っあさあさあれでででで、さあれ。T two S L two P。で、ピピチマジスペース。It has a complex so I and J and K。And this complex are coming from the the complex are coming from S L two C. Not the inner surface. And from that complex structure, one can have the unique quantization procedure. Yeah. Um, yes. And I should mention one thing. Um, <coughs> yeah, in my circuit. Yeah. And, and also, I should mention that this x and y can be understood as the x is a Wilson loop. Loop and y is the, the truth loop. Well, for the n e g a t i v e four. Yeah. So the the, the 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 thing what happens for as follows. Um. So the. So you just drop and fire it. So and fire it on the on the the the, the non complement. This is the k uh, the torus T two and the S three mod k. Okay. And the if you this is, if you wrap the m fire on this one from torus you get the four D n equal to four. So the four D n equal to four. Okay. And at the boundary, you have a 3D n equal to a 3D n equal to two, 3D n equal to two. Um, I mean, R3 cross. I mean, cross the um, this the uh, S3 mod k. Then at the boundary you have a torus, okay? So that if you wrap it with an environment torus, you get the four D n equal to four. But at the boundary, so do the boundary of the, the boundary condition is described by the, the three manifold here, S three mod k. Well, let's see U S U N theory. If you wrap an environment, and and the boundary condition is given. Um, Given by the, this the three D equal two theory, two theory. Yes, that's true. And it, so if there's a Wilson, so Wilson and Tofu loop acts on this theory. Okay, that will give you the the regression relation. Because I mean uh, the if you <coughs> so meridian, if you wrap the M two brain and the M meridian. And you get the you get the truth loop. Uh, sorry, Wilson loop. And uh, if you wrap the M2, the M2 brain on the the longitude, you get the truth loop. And the the, the holonomy will holonomy of meridian is x assigned to x, and the holonomy of longitude is assigned to y. Therefore, they can be understood with the truth loop. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. The, the, this, this is really an angle too, with described by. By by this manifold, 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 and essentially, the, if you take large and limit, uh, the of the Jones polynomial partition function, this theory is the large and limit of Jones polynomial. Ah, uh, when you take any good, okay. that's what's going to happen. Uh, Wilson, Wilson loop is Wilson loop is assigned to x, and the first loop is assigned to. 
Oh, why? Okay, so that's what's going to happen. Okay, I think it's a good time to stop. And uh, tomorrow, uh, no, on Monday, I'm going to explain about the basic of 3D and 2 theory. Basic, I do very basic theory and uh, talk about the mirror symmetry and the exact result of the S3 partition function S1 cross S2. That's what I'm and uh, the last day on Wednesday, I'm going to talk about 3D 3D correspondence. Oh, on Monday. Okay. But go, 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 go. Go in the, uh, you, you. No, the other, 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 the